historical visit by Pope Francis in Jerusalem. Thousands of believers will follow him to the Holy Land. The visit of Pope Francis to Israel has already become a part of history. Pope Francis confirmed that his pilgrimage to the holy places of the old city of Jerusalem was a personal dream come true. During the visit, simple but powerful images and phrases were released to the media, which will be remembered for future generations. Que la paz y la prosperidad sendano en abundancia su Israel. Dios bendiga el su pueblo con la paz. Shalom. Bienvenido a Israel. ביקורך הוא פרק חשוב בתולדות היחסים בין נוצרים ליהודים, קשר שנמשך זה אלפיים שנה. והכנסייה היום ברשותך קרא לנו אחי הבכירים. The Pope attracted tens of thousands of pilgrims from all over the world who also visited other places in the Holy Land, leaving moments of great joy. Baptism in the Jordan River, visits to shores of the Sea of Galilee, the sites visited by Jesus, such as Capernaum or the Annunciation Basilica in Nazareth. But the Pope concentrated his pilgrimage in Jerusalem, conducting Mass in Gethsemane and praying in the Cenacle, place of Jesus' Last Supper. We did it. This was Pope Francis' remark of relief along with his Argentine rabbi friend. Abraham Skorka held him in a long, warm embrace opposite the Wailing Wall, the holiest site for the Jewish people. It is an unprecedented gesture to the three previous papal visits, which personifies the reconciliation between the Jewish world and the Catholic Church. In this manner, the pontifex invites pilgrims from five continents to visit the three-time holy city. Come bello quando i pellegrini e i residenti possono accedere liberamente ai luoghi santi e partecipare alle celebrazioni. An extremely emotional moment took place in Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem. Here Pope Francis, visibly emotional, kissed the hands of six Holocaust survivors and spoke directly to God, asking him how was such an atrocity, the biggest in human history, possible. Mai più, Signore. Mai più. Con la vergogna di ciò che l'uomo, creato alla tua immagine e somiglianza, è stato capace di fare. Francis went beyond his predecessors by visiting the tomb of Herzl the visionary of the Jewish state and father of Zionism, where he placed a dedicated bouquet. Before returning to Rome, the Pope sent a message in favor of peace and dialogue in the Middle East, stating that living without peace is a torment. The Pope invited pilgrims from five continents to visit Israel, the Holy Land.